Hi guys, my name is Alex Burns, and if you don't know me already, I'm an FX makeup artist, specialty costumer, and fabricator for film and television, and I'm also a cosplayer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created the iconic Cannibal Jack Sparrow headpiece, toe necklace, and scepter from Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest for the Savvy Channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you the techniques and steps that I use to create these items, so I hope you guys enjoy. To create the headdress, I started with lots and lots of reference photos. Since Google didn't give me much, I had to watch the movie over and over and over again to make sure I had every angle I needed. For the base of the headdress, I actually had to modify fabric because I couldn't find fabric that resembled the original. To do this, I took cotton cording and used fabric glue and glued it on top of the fabric. Once that was finished, I painted the fabric red with a mix of acrylic paint and fabric medium. Then went on to try to figure out a way to make all the little detail pieces that I couldn't find. I ended up having to sculpt, mold, and cast these pieces in resin. Once everything was cast, it was time to paint. Once I base coated everything, I went in with layers of watered down acrylic paint. This really allows all the detail to show. Once everything was painted, it was time to assemble. I attached all my pieces by sewing or gluing. Once that was done, it was time to finish it off with some beautiful feathers. To make the toe necklace, I sculpted, molded, and casted the toes in resin. Once they were cast, I painted them with acrylic and sealed them. Then added some fake blood to make it really gross. To make the scepter, I got a dowel rod and a lot of feathers. Fortunately for me, I found a trim that already had feathers attached to it. I used my hot glue gun to glue the trim around the dowel rod. Then I added the coyote skull to the dowel rod and secured it with super glue. Then added several washes of watered down acrylic paint to really show the detail and give it some age and distress. To finish the scepter, I leather wrapped the handle and used some sandpaper to really give it a worn look. Thank you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you Savvy Channel for having me. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more of my work, go to Alex Burns Effects on Instagram. Thank you, bye.